Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. As you watch your breath, your mind gathers together here. As for any thoughts that would pull you away, you don't have to get involved with them right now. Just let them go. Let them go. Try to stay with the sensation of breathing inside to gather your awareness right here. As we do this, we can create a sense of peace inside, a sense of well-being. And at the same time, it develops some good qualities of mind. Mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind and not forget. Alertness, the ability to watch what you're doing and see the results of what you're doing. And then ardency, when you try to do this well. These are qualities that the, we need for all our activities in life, and it's good to have a way of strengthening them. And at the same time, we get to know our mind a lot better. Years back, when my father went to visit my teacher in Thailand, took him up to learn meditation with my teacher, and his first question was, well, I'm a Christian, is this going to get in the way of my meditating? And then my teacher, John Fung, said, no, we're going to focus on the breath. Breath is something that's neutral, common property throughout the world. It's not Buddhist, it's not Christian, it's just there. And when you focus on the breath, you get to see the mind. And we can just talk directly about what's happening in the mind. We don't have to let other ideas get in the way. So you're dealing with something really direct right here, something that everybody can do. And it gives rise to strengths in the mind. And we're trying to develop this quality of the mind, especially on a day like this. We're making merit for someone who's passed away. There's no way you can communicate with that person in a physical way, but there are mental currents that the mind sends out. You may have noticed when someone walks into the room, sometimes they don't have to say anything, just their presence changes the room. In the same way, when the mind is well concentrated, it sends out a good current of energy. The people who passed away, they can pick it up. And that's how you send something good to them. This is why we do good things in Buddhism as part of a, our way of dealing with death. Be generous, you observe the precepts, and especially you meditate. That way the current of the mind that you're sending is a good current. It's a good current to send and a good current to receive. So try to create this good current inside, this generator of a good current inside. You'll find that you benefit and the people all around you benefit.